Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsforay.com. Today's topic of our discussion is a very common question in many competitive exams of life sciences that is how many different possible gametes are produced by the diploid genotype. We will be using a very simple formula to answer these questions. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and support this channel. How many unique gametes could be produced through independent assortment by an individual with a genotype capital A small a, capital B small b, capital C capital C small d small d. Simple formula is possible number of gametes is equal to 2 raised to n where n is the number of heterozygous gene pairs. n is the number of heterozygous gene pairs. So this is the genotype capital A small a, capital B small b, capital C capital C small d small d. As you can see this yellow colored are the heterozygous gene pairs. Therefore there are two heterozygous gene pairs. So it's very simple just substitute the value in the formula 2 raised to n is equal to 2 raised to 2 as n is 2, 2 into 2 that is equal to 4. 4 is the number of possible gamete combinations. Now let us see how we derive this formula for better understanding of the concept. This is the first gene pair capital A small a. It can produce two types of gametes capital A and small a forming two gametes during independent assortment. So second gene pair is capital B small b. It's heterozygous therefore it also can produce two types of gametes capital B small b. The third gene pair is capital C capital C which is homozygous therefore it can produce only one type of gamete that is capital C. And the fourth pair is small d small d. This gene pair is also homozygous therefore produce only one type of gamete that is small d. Now simply multiplying all these we will be getting this 4 2 into 2 into 1 into 1. In homozygous condition there is only one gamete just consider this heterozygotes so that we will be getting this equation 2 raised to n that is equal to 4. The gametes formed are capital A capital B capital C small d capital A small b capital C small d small a capital B capital C small d small a small b capital C capital D. So this is the way how we find out the genotype of gametes. Let's do two more examples. How many different possible gametes are produced by the diploid genotype? So this is the genotype. So possible number of gametes is equal to 2 raised to n where n is the number of heterozygous gene pairs. So in this genotype as you can see capital A small a, capital B small b, capital C small c all are heterozygous gene pairs therefore n is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 the answer is 2 raised to n 2 raised to 5 that is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 that's 32 now the third and the final question how many different possible gametes are produced by the diploid genotype small a small a capital b small b capital c capital c in this genotype as you can see there is only one heterozygous gene pair therefore n is equal to 1. The number of possible gametes is 2 raised to 1 that is 2. The first gamete is small a capital B capital C and the second one is small a small b and capital C. Hope you are fine with answering these type of questions. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforay.com. Please subscribe, share and like this video.